Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're actually going to be going over the best settings you can do for this new season for no delay. Now, I've gone over many of these videos, and this one is uh, to touch base on the new season and everything that's new and what you should still do, change, or whatever. But, anyways, let's get right into the video. So, a lot of you guys are confused on what delay is. It's not ping, it's not. Well, it just has something to do with pain, but it's not it's not like lagging, right? So delay is like how fast something happens. So if I click my E button to edit, how fast it clicks, right? If I want to reset, how fast it happens. Now, delay can change if somebody could take your wall or not. You could be zero ping just like somebody else, and then it might come by and just yoink that wall. Now, that is a big factor in delay, and as well as how like fast people look. If they're like, like really quick, that just means they have no delay. Like as I'm free building, like you can see stuff happens like like fairly quick and that's just my delay so today we're going to talk about everything you can do to get your delay as low as possible and i hope you guys enjoy the video so up number one there's really not anything new for the fortnite settings but you know i'll go over it just for the newer people to the channel um obviously performance mode everything on low 30 res 100 percent um, and then other than that, you go over to this, this third tab. There's only a few settings in here that you a thousand percent should have off these energy savers here, high quality replays and NVIDIA highlights. You don't need none of that stuff. Um, those are the few settings that you a thousand percent need off cause they do cause FPS problems, stuttering and stuff like that. And if you are a keyboard or mouse player, I recommend, um, going to the, key the keyboard settings at the top lock input method is mouse. You know, I feel like me personally, it helps with delay. Um, that might be a little placebo, but I do recommend giving it a shot because my delay is fairly low. So, yep. Let's uh, now let's move on to a few computer settings that you could do in order to get your delay even lower. Oh, a big part of your delay does rely under your ping. Now, for ping, I have an app called Gear Up Booster. Now, if you would like to try this out completely for free, download with the link in the description, join the Discord, and I'll be handing out quite a few memberships to a few of you guys that say you downloaded it with my link in the Discord. Now, what this app does is it actually can boost absolutely any game or app. As you can see, Discord can be boosted, stuff like that. Um, just to help your delay, your ping, whatever it is. Now, ping is huge on delay. If you fight somebody that's on zero ping, aside from fighting somebody that's on 50 ping, the person with zero ping is more than likely going to be way faster and all kinds of stuff like that. So I highly recommend getting Gear Up Booster. Now, Gear Up Booster, you can boost anything. And many other YouTubers and pros for Fortnite have talked about this app as well because it's actually decent. Now, I highly recommend giving it a shot. Uh, because there's no reason not to if it's completely for free now Anyways, let's get into a few other things that you can do in order to get your game running at its best Okay, here we are on my desktop. You know, I've, I have quite a few things that you know my games over here I only have Fortnite and Exify as of right now and a few other things over here that I use right so I have very little things, which does help a little bit, but on top of that, over here, I actually have nothing really open. Now, you can close absolutely everything you need to in order to get your processes as low as possible. Now, if you don't know what a process is, it's actually, hold on, let me, oh, yeah, there we go, there we are. And see, if you down here, I have 158 processes, meaning I have 158 things running in the background um, that cause delay. Now, this number, the higher it is, the more delay you'll have. The lower it is, the better delay you'll have. You know, it makes sense, easy, quick. Now, in order to get this low, you have to close things, change things. So we're going to talk about that right now. Now, what we're going to start with is actually taskbar settings. Now, make sure you have task view off, widgets off. Now, what widgets is, is basically it's a bunch of different random stuff in the background, like videos, pictures, you know, a whole bunch of different um, things here, right? So we just don't, we just don't need that always run in the background and stuff like that. So I recommend just turning that off. Now, go into your PC settings. Your settings, you go to display, go all the way down to graphics. Click this change default graphic settings and actually turn this off. Now, you will need to restart your PC, as it says, for changes to apply, and that's fine. We'll do that later. Now, moving on, you want to go to apps, go to startup apps. Make sure you only have on what you need. Now, I need my Razor to launch, my Spotify, not really, so I'm going to turn that off. My Still Series, I need, and, you know, that, that's about it. Everything else I have turned off, so we don't have a bunch of random stuff just running in the background. Also, I am voice cracking a little bit. I just got off being sick, so, you know, I'm a little... My, my throat's a little messed up. Pause. But anyways, um, other than that, go to game optimize. Um, you can turn game mode off. No need to have that running in the background. Uh, game bar. We can turn game bar off as well. Um, that like makes your controller open the game bar so that, way that doesn't accidentally accidentally open because game bar can cause delay. But more than likely, you wouldn't notice if your game bar is open in the background or not. 
Now that is just a few simple settings we can turn off in there. The rest will turn off using a tool that I'll show here in a few seconds. Next, we're going to go to ADJ, which is adjust the appearance right here. You want to hit custom and you're going to check off uncheck everything and just leave these two checked off. Click apply and then OK. And then from there, we'll type in mouse, go to mouse settings, just like that additional mouse settings now i'm on windows 11 so that's why mine looks like that and then we'll go to pointer options and make sure enhanced pointer precision is off now if you can't find this setting i'll show you exactly how to another way to do that here in two seconds so in my discord after you guys join it you will actually see in here i don't know if y'all like my tree or not but anyways in here you'll actually see i have something called youtube stuff now i got my discord link i got a power config that i'm going to share with you guys which i'll do right now so copy the power config <coughs> sorry right click this <laughs> Terminal admin, click yes. And then as soon as you can see this, apply that in there. Bam, it has been applied. That's it. Just minimize that. We'll need that here in a second. Go into your, oop, wrong thing. Or type in power. Um, choose a power plant. And then right down here, we have ultimate performance. Now I'm already on it, right? Um, but I have another one right here. Now this, you know, as it says, provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. Um, and that, that's what I use. Also helps lag a little bit. So there we are. Next, we're going to go ahead and copy this right here. The whole thing makes you copy the entire thing uh, right there, not just the little link right there. Um, and then we're going to go right back to this admin thingy. Actually, we can just close this. We're going to just going to redo it. Right click this terminal admin. Hit yes again, just like we did before. Paste that in there. Click enter. Now it's going to pull up this big thing that's a little confusing. So just, just follow along. You get tweaks. Go to desktop. And here we are. Now, right here is where you disable the taskbar widgets, the sticky keys, mass acceleration, um, Bing and search menu. Um, you can do it all from here. But I recommend deleting temporary files, running a disk cleanup, and doing all this. And then when you're done, click Run Tweaks. Now, once the tweaks have been ran, it will show over here. It will say Tweaks are finished, and everything is closed. Now, there's no install for this. I've already done it, so no need to do again. But if your PC does feel like it's slowing down, I recommend going back in there and making sure that it's, you know, all done. I, make, I recommend running it again. Um, another thing we're going to talk about is actually XMP. Now, a lot of people don't know about XMP, and it's, it's insane because it helps out so, so much. I actually had somebody today that I helped out, which is in vouchers here, just made this tab. That's why there's only one person that talked to here. And I got his FPS from 120 to 360 stable. And... A lot of it had to do with enabling XMP. Now, XMP, basically what that does is it brings your RAM to run at its actual speed. Because for some reason, when you get RAM, your computer won't let it run at its actual speed sometimes. It will half it. And that's not good. You don't want to half. You want what you paid for. So you want to enable XMP. In order to do that, you go into your BIOS, right? And in your BIOS, which is different for everybody how to get to it, I recommend looking up a YouTube video. For me, I hold FN and spam 2. And it works. And it brings me into it. I enable XMP, but it's different for everybody. That should help your FPS, your delay, and all kinds of stuff. Also, next, we're going to move on to actually NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now, this is a big one. A lot of people do not update their drivers, and I don't know why Why you wouldn't update your drivers. Now, updating your drivers is huge for your FPS and your game performance and all kinds of stuff. So, update your drivers. Make sure this is up to date. I'm, I hate to be that guy. I don't want to throw shots at nobody, but all them YouTubers are like, this is the best driver for gaming. This is, you know, this and that. Don't do it. I, I'm recommending you not to do it. You're just going to be behind on updates. Your FPS is probably going to be bad and all kinds of stuff. So just keep up to date. They update it for a reason, right? So keep it up to date. You don't want to be behind. You just click download and express installation, right? Quick and easy to do. Next, we're actually on the topic in a video. We're going to move into nvidia control panel let this thing open up taking a second it's on my second monitor now here we are now we're going to start at the top which is actually this you want to click the middle one make sure this is on performance or do that you're going to click this bottom one drag it to performance then click the middle one and click take me there all right now we'll copy these settings i'm not going to go through them all just copy them these are the best settings that you could use for your nvidia um, control panel uh, by far um, a lot of people do have other settings but i think personally that these are the best so i highly recommend um copying these i'll go back up through it pause it slow it down do whatever you need to do but these are by far the best settings to use next change resolution make sure you're on the right resolution which i play native and then the right uh fps or hertz whatever you want to call it um yes and then on the topic of that adjust desktop ties adjust desktop size and position full screen perform scaling on the gpu quick easy make sure that this is uh correct down here too 
and then you click apply and you're good and then next go to the surround sound up here put this on your graphics card so it doesn't go to your cpu because that'll cause a delay while playing the game of fortnite right next we're gonna go to epic games go to library go to these three dots on fortnite go to options make sure yours looks like this now pre-downloaded stream assets you want that checked off um you want the direct yo unchecked direct x12 shaders unchecked click apply this will do a quick little update just like that should be fairly quick might take two minutes and you're going to get right back to playing the game make sure that's just like that if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys like subscribe share it to a friend that needs help with their fps or pc also i just want to throw this out there i put this at the end of the video because i'm sure some of you guys are going to hear it in my discord i do have a thing where if you are confused it doesn't work I can help you out. Now, I do charge for this because it's coming out of my time, but I keep it fairly cheap and I keep it 20 a person. Now, I will completely tweak your PC just for you, like I did for this guy here. It was not my first person, but my first person to vouch for me because I asked him to um, because I just made this channel today. Um, as you can see, May 27th, where it's May 27th. All right. I made this channel today. So I had him vouch, you know, I tweaked his PC from running 120 FPS to now running 360 stable. So I could do it for you guys too. If you guys don't want to do it, that is okay. But everything I do is pretty much covered in my YouTube videos. So if you want to go through and watch some of the videos, there's different settings in pretty much all of them. And, you know, help yourself out or come hit me up and I can help you out as well. After I tweak you one time, you come back to me anytime for free and I'll completely fix any problems you have as well. And anyways, that being said, that is the end of the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.